Hey guys, it's Kyle Kaysen, and um, I'm back up here at the Swiftness Resort, as the dungeon is called, where we found a skeleton egg uh, in the previous episode. And um, if you're wondering what the hell I'm doing back here, let me uh, show you something real quick. Um, I did grab the stuff out of the chest in here, and as you can see, I have three iron ore in my inventory right here. And I'll show you where I got that as well. I have all of this as my old armor. This I actually got from the chest uh, by the Shrine of Fame. This here was given to me there. Fire protection 1 and projectile protection 2. Actually, that that's pretty handy. Uh, but I did find three iron ingots, so now I can make a bucket. Uh, so I have the most deadly weapon in Minecraft uh, at my disposal. But as you can see, this water's flowing. Well, this used to be still, and that used to be a piece of, like, mossy stone, I think. Yeah. And uh, so what I did is I literally dug this all the way through to allow the water to fall down there. And you can see the obsidian and the pillar growing up, and that's how I got back up. I just pillared up until I could jump onto this or some, one of these vine sets to climb back up. But anyways, um, yeah, and I did like a loop around using cobblestone to bridge my way around the lava here and I found the three iron ingots and the feather falling four boots down there so um, I just I figured that would be fun to show you um, as for the iron chest plate I'm gonna go and do a nice leap of faith here uh, I found that down here under this ledge in a chest that I did talk about and uh, yeah so there's a sheep a cow and a chicken and a pig around here somewhere um, holy shit lag lag crazy um, as you can see, I've been doing some pretty decent mining efforts. Um, and you can probably see the uh, sandstone coming up from up here. And that is... Let me show you what that is all about, actually. Um, it's a rail card system. And this is how I did the move from the Shrine of Fame all the way through. So uh, I call it the Wily Rail System. <laughs> and uh, nothing spawns on here because I've got it pretty dang well lit up. And it's far enough away from here to where even if a skeleton spawned on the edge... They'll see me, but I'm moving too fast for them to actually get a good shot. So, that's that. And uh, this leads right to my uh, base. As you can see, I built a small house onto the, uh, onto the uh, shrine itself. And, yeah. And uh, I got a brake system, too, which helps break me down from here and there. And all of that. And uh, here is my house. Pressure plates to close the door behind me. Put the two extra enchanting tables there. Um, as I get more cool stuff and like paintings and shit, I'll put them in here. But this is the bedroom, and this is the actual thing with a nice view of the Shrine of Fame from where I'm at. So that's what I did here. Um, I decided to build this style of a house just because I wanted to. Um, and it's pure lava, so I can't dig straight down right here. So, uh, yeah, so why don't we go and stick those in there? Go and get ourselves a bucket. Uh, but no, I just decided to uh, start up this episode so I could talk with you guys and chill out because, you know, I'm kind of bored just not recording while I'm doing all this off-camera work. Actually, I need that. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. I do need, uh, I need at least a piece of coal. I uh, got some flint and steel. So my off-camera work's been going pretty well. I mean, nothing too horrible has happened to me. So I think that's pretty dang good. Um, overall... Uh, everything's going pretty smoothly. I mean, I'm not getting hit by skeletons all the time and ended up dying like it usually happens to me. So, that can happen. It's very, very rare, but it can happen. So, potatoes, carrots, wheat, uh, pumpkins, uh, melons, sugar cane. I think that's it. So... And, oh yeah, you need water before I can put you down. So, got my farm all set up, ready to go. Already set up some nether wart farm. Go ahead and stick that in there. Okay, that was some serious lag, but okay. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I got four crafting tables. The game kind of glitched out and maybe please it. And no, I don't want to update you Avast. I would rather do whatever the hell I want. Okay? Please, thank you. Okay, so, um... We have the suicide tower right there with the skeleton that I'm going to back away from before it starts chasing me. Um, uh, we have the, uh, I think it's called the uh, the Aronite region. 
that way. The Shrine of Fame that way. And uh, so let's go ahead and conquer the Shrine of Fame real quick. Uh, actually, partially conquer it. Uh, because I decided to wait to put these into our monument before everything came down. So um, we have cow and chicken. That's actually kind of funny. That was one of my favorite. Oh, you douche. I spawned a chicken. Are you happy, chicken? Are you a happy chicken? Okay. Um, I'm going to actually keep the rest of these eggs to actually make farms as I go along. So skeleton egg. Oh, shit. I did it again. Ah, okay. No, just for the hell of it, let's spawn a cow. <laughs> just to say we did. There, now we spawned a cow. Um, let's not misclick this time. Thank you. Um, and let's spawn a pig. Yeah, let's spawn a pig. There. You happy? Screwed up. And so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we got uh, a whole bunch of stuff that we can kill. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this pig. Because that's what I feel like doing, because I get pissed at pigs. And we killed the skeleton, so why not kill what else we spawn? I mean, still got enough spawnings for the other farms. Oh, that was a one hit. Oh! Achievement! Cow tipper. I'm a cow tipper. Um, so yeah, that's all taken care of. And uh, as for the skeleton eggs, I'll just put them there. The mob eggs I'll put in there. But uh, yeah, so now we have four eggs on our monument. Or yeah, this is technically a monument because it's on a CTM map. So, um, just a heads up on what I did, uh, here. As you can tell, the wood that was here is gone. It's not as rugged anymore, and I do need to continue lighting this up so that I don't have any more creepers spawning here or whatnot, trying to blow up my house. But, um, what I did on a, uh, in, for a more basic explanation on it is I mined out all the cobblestone to make this as smooth as I possibly could. And then once I did that, um, I used the cobblestone to fill in the center and then build the framework of the house. And then, actually, I built the main framework out of the logs, but you can tell what I did with the cobblestone, and I built the roof with the cobblestone and all of that. So that's what I did there. Um, this still isn't lit up enough, so we're going to put a piece of glowstone right there and right there. I think that should do it. And, we'll, and then we'll come over here and we'll put a piece of glowstone right there. Like uh, The objective of this is to keep creepers and other mobs out, so... Q. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I did with the base thus far. Um, I did get a tree farm set up, so that's all set up, and uh, I think my bucket should my iron for my bucket should be about done um, rolling around but other than that I did do it so uh Bojiga message to you buddy after I finished that dungeon I watched you complete that dungeon for your development commentary because I knew you had it and I watched it after I complete this and uh, you said that there was only two iron down there but there is indeed three iron uh, just for your information, so you can use that for future reference, and you can, uh, so, yeah, you're, you did not prevent the player from getting a bucket, it's just, it, it's literally, the only thing that will prevent the player from getting a bucket is just how hard they're willing to look for stuff, and I'm pretty willing to look for stuff, so stuff like that I do find. Um, what was I after again? I guess I can get a mushroom farm going. Where's that? I need two more pieces of dirt. One, two. Um, where's the other mushrooms? Okay, there we go. I only need one of each mushroom. Thank you very much. Um, then what was I after? I, I honestly forgot what the hell I was after. Uh, what was I after here? Uh, I don't even remember. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on there. Mushroom, mushroom farm, mushroom farm. Where can I put one? Uh, you know what? We'll put one right here next to the nether wart. I think that would be fun. So, yeah, that that would be fun. Okay, there's one. And we'll put the other mushroom right there. Boom. Boom. Do need bones to do that, so... Yeah. Oh, let's go get our iron and make our first bucket. Yeah. So, yeah. First bucket made. Alright, now we have a bucket. 
And uh, then what else was there that I needed to do here? Um, bucket made. Got a bow. Oh yeah, let's throw a uh, level 30 enchant on my bow here. See if I can't get... Ah! I hear you. I hear you. What are you doing? I don't even know how the hell I switched to my sword, but I did. Um, so yeah, let's throw a level 30 on the bow here. See what I get. And here we go. Power 3. Well, it's a lot better than power 1, and if I put this on an anvil, um, I could end up doing some pretty good damage, but I would have preferred to have infinity on there, so that kind of stinks. But I, I can't complain, so. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get myself to where I can get some water. And as you can see, it, it serves as a perfect launcher uh, for this. So, I'm not complaining about the rail system at all. Uh, and, and uh, Bojuga, that was actually the perfect amount of sandstone inside of that rail kit to get me here. So, uh, and do all of this, like, I could not believe just how well calculated out that was. Um, and I just randomly did it. I didn't even count, count the blocks. So, um, good on you, buddy. So let's get down there and hope I can get back up on top to grab a water thingy. Because I need water and I want to create an infinite water source up there as well. And an infinite water source will... Oh yeah, that's how I got down there. I channeled the water too. Channeling water is fun. It really is. And I'm going to leave this grass here because I, don't, I honestly don't need any more dirt unless I really want to do some mass production, which... Um, mass production is within my style, but not really something that I'm interested in doing. I mean, I've got plenty of food to last me a while. I can actually take these reeds here, too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, yeah, my idea here is just to... What are you doing, spider? Are you being stupid and coming at me like an idiot? Yeah, you are. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and grab some water here. Um, I'm just taking this and then one more trip back up here and that will be set. I know I'm so boss for like being able to do that. I'm getting more and more confident with my abilities here like recently. <laughs> I don't know how I am but or why I am for that matter but I am. So all right so we have the Ardent region which has three eggs, Suicide Tower which has one egg, Scorpio, Graves of the Fallen, City of Angels, all of that stuff. So, it's going to be different. And I do know the final dungeon is called the City of Angels. Uh, freaking friend spoiled it for me, but, um, yeah. So, it, it, it's, it's an interesting ride. Alright, so, and as you can see, it stops right here, right at the stairs, so I think that's pretty damn cool. So, uh, in fact, it's so cool, I'm going to do this. Oh, my friend is texting me. Cool! Uh, and I'm going to... Why did I even put that minecart away? So, step on the rails and let's go! Get our second water bucket. Or, yeah. That's what I wanted to do, is get my second water bucket. And then uh, I will... That looks like a little interesting cove right there. I'm going to go explore that too. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to even tackle the dungeon on this episode. I think what I'm doing mainly is just gathering supplies uh, while I do my uh, off-camera work because that's pretty fun. And I wanted to show you where I got the iron, too. I think that was more about it because, it, you know, it's all about legitimacy. And, you know, I don't want people thinking, oh, like, I rushed ahead in the map to a place where there is iron because I honestly don't know where iron's at and this skeleton would kill me so whoa Ooh -hoo -hoo. I don't like you you almost blew me up those vines are lifesavers and if I heard that correctly I think I'm under influence of a thunderstorm now so that's pretty chill I guess can I actually grab water from here no? Damn it. That'd be kind of cool if I could. Sounds like there's zombies on the ins- Oh, they're on top. Okay, got my water. Yeah, you go. You go away. Don't care about you. 
I'm heading over here because I saw something that interests me. Now, was that over here? Yeah, that was over here. It's right here, somewhere around here. I saw it. Here it is. Uh, this little hole right here. Is there anything of interest in here? No? Okay, well. You can't say I didn't explore it. You can't say, oh, you missed the little hole that was in the thing, in the comments, and all that. Hi, cow. Oh, whoa. Go away, zombie. <laughs> okay, well, shoot, I'm stuck again. See? Every time. Now I just gotta hope I have enough uh, cobble to get myself at least one square from the bottom, and I do. Oh, God damn it! Aha! Perfect amount of cobble. Perfect! Perfection is key. Ow! That was mean. Die. Fucking skeletons. Okay. Let's uh, get out of here, get the water back, finish up that infinite water source, and then this is done. Uh, so, not that bad. And the, the benefit of this rail system here is I can travel up above the uh, bedrock fog, which is still there. It's just the particles aren't, and that really helps with my lag. Uh, so, like, I can move along this rail system rather quickly and not have to experience lag, even if it is over a large amount of lava. So, that's a, that's a plus, in my opinion. I don't know if it is for, for you, but it is for me. And, uh, now we have some bones, so let's go ahead and use the, uh, bone meal on the, uh, mushrooms real quick. Oh my god, a zombie. Oh my god, a zombie. Alright, so now we got a mushroom farm. That's done. So yeah, this, uh, this place is getting to be quite homey, in my opinion. In fact, it's, uh, starting to resemble many of the homes I have created in Minecraft before. Uh, it's definitely different from the, uh, waking up base that I had, that is for sure. Um, waking up base was pretty cool, I mean, it had a zombie grinder right next to it. Uh, heck, in fact, uh, my base in, uh, Kaizo Caverns, the finished product was, uh, inspiration from something I built in a server before, too. So, alright, there we go. And now that's done, so now I can finally plant my reeds. So, those are taken care of. And then I'll go through and organize these chests later, but for now I just need to do this and get this all set up and organized. It's going to be a lot of, like, running back and forth, but, yeah. My base. You know me. Hi, zombie. Will you give me an iron ingot, please? That would be nice. I'd love an iron shovel. Although I already have the thing I want, which is a bucket. And actually, you know what? I don't even have to run back and forth, because if I take the water from there... I sit there. I have an infinite water source. Nope, don't do that. I have an infinite water source right here as long as I take from the side, so. Hi, skeleton, I don't care about you. You can shoot me. Okay, that's pretty weird. Um, you can shoot me all you want, Skelly. I, I'm still not going to care about you. You're, you're just a. Dude. You suck. Like, honestly, it took you three shots to hit me. Get a life. So. Alright, that seems to be good enough for me. Um, because I think my farms are pretty much done. Uh, there we go. That's all done. So, now I just take that, put it there, and my farm is now completed. And I can actually go ahead and get rid of that. So... That's that, uh, for the most part, so that's pretty dang good. Um, can't complain, I now can set up a farm. <laughs> uh, who, who can complain about being able to set up a farm? If you could complain about that, I would be amazed. Um, although, some people would probably be like, Oh, you set up a farm, you cheated. Well, I didn't cheat, I set up a farm so I could survive, and uh, the goal of the map is to survive, is it not? To survive and complete the monument. So, uh, I don't care if you think that's cheating setting up a farm. Uh, I'm living off of what I've gotten, and that's that. So, if you don't like it, get over it. My opinion. Okay. 
Alright, we are going to have to be able to get seeds from this, so there we go, two seeds. And the uh, reason why I'm, okay, I'm getting a ton of wheat from this, but not enough seeds to continue on. There we go. So, gonna be able to create some bread from this, apparently. Seven seeds. Actually, we got eight seeds, so now I have what I need. Um, what the? Okay, I could have sworn I had another seed, but okay. I didn't get it. Oh my god, give me more than one seed, please. Okay, there we go. Now I have what I need there. Let's get some carrots going. Okay, you're popping out because you don't have light. Is that what I am seeing here? So I'm, I need to put a piece of glowstone there, and for the hell of it, I'll, piece, I'll put a piece of glowstone there as well. Um, okay, so let's see here. Since this is more in the light, I'm going to do that. Come on, give me more than one. Thank you. Two, three, one, two, three. Should give me. S that gave me seven, and th that should give me up to eight. All right, sweet. That's taken care of. Let's head back over here and grab a piece of glowstone. Actually, nah, I'll leave that one there. The more light I have here, the better. Uh, my opinion, pretty much. Don't patronize it. Just accept it. Um, besides the fact it means less things will spawn on here uh, in total so alright now all I gotta do is farm some wood get some fences going and I can actually get an animal farm going here but this is not a bad place uh, to be set up in is it? no I don't think it is so um, something makes me want to do this uh, uh. Alright, that's done. Alright, and in recognition of the map, we'll make it an O. F o for Olympus. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Make it an O for Olympus. That's what I want. So, and I know I have plenty of glowstone to do it with. So I'm not really afraid of running out of glowstone here. Um, there's some more pretty good so far and that does it okay sweet so that's all completed um and for the most part i've got this place pretty well lit up so spawns are going to be rare so and that should do it for food 37 bread i'll take it um and you know what i really don't need to uh do this, but we'll go and put that there, because with my luck with carrots, I only get one. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, uh, my base. It's set up for the most part. Uh, wow. I never actually expected myself to get this far, but, uh, I did. And, holy crap, that's, those are mushrooms. Uh, if I got some wheat, I could lead some of the mushrooms over to this base. And, uh, hello, Mr. Enderman, but if I led them over to the base, I could get a mushroom farm going. That would be infinite leather, mushroom stew, and everything else, so that would be kind of cool. So there are mushrooms, there are trees over there, plenty of sandstone, I, I don't know. Hey, there's a chest right there. Look at that. Um, plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff, so, uh... You know what, let's go this way real quick, just to explore, since we've got our base all set up, and uh, I'm going to say goodbye to you, just because I don't like you there, so goodbye. And uh, the reason that I hit him with the sign, uh, let's check this chest, since I'm right here anyways. Speed, tor- okay, that works, I guess. Um, sand, okay, torches on the walls in that dungeon. So where is that chest exactly? Okay, so it's right there. Go ahead and see if I can't get down there real quick. Ooh, there's stone in here. Okay, so stone. 
right there. Okay. Can I get down to that chest? That's what I want to do, is I want to get down there to that chest. And here we go. 64 ladders. That's what's in there. Okay, so now we get some more ladders. <laughs> Someone jumps down there to get up there, or get down there, and all that's there is uh, to help him get back up. That That's hilarious. That's kind of like a troll chest, in my opinion. So that's pretty funny. Um, oh yeah, we need to go this way. I wanted, to ex I wanted to explore this way. How much time have I spent doing this? Oh wow, I've been going for 25 minutes. Okay, well, um, I'm going to end this episode here, I guess. And uh, yeah, so let me get back up to the base so I can sign off. I did not realize I spent 25 minutes just dicking around with the base here, but uh, just for fun. Miss Ow! I still hit myself. So, and because I don't really use these at all, like, I just have fun with them. And now we have an extra one, so. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is Kyle Kitchen signing off. I'm going to continue getting this place set up because there are a few more things I can do, so I will see y'all later.